Welcome back. Uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi met with the ministers of the participating countries in the seventh edition of the East Mediterranean Gas Forum, which kicked off in Cairo on Wednesday. Presidential spokesman Bassem Rodi said President Sisi welcomed the participants and expressed his appreciation for their efforts through the previous editions of the forum during the past three years. The president stressed the significance of the forum at regional and international levels in the field of energy, a matter which he said led many countries to seek its membership. The head of state hailed the forum's leading role in solving the global energy crisis during the next few years with the aim of achieving the region's development. The president called for the continued cooperation among the forum's members and benefiting of benefits of their energy resources. President Abdel Fattah Sisi held a joint press conference with President of the EU Commission Ursula von der Leyen on Wednesday. In his statement, President Sisi said the talks tackled means of boosting cooperation between Egypt and the European Union in various domains, especially in the energy field. The President said the meeting also discussed means of facing the repercussions of climate change and focused on international files, including the Ukrainian crisis and the World Economic crisis. The president uh, said they had agreed to continue consultations over facing terrorism and illegal migration. For her part, von der Leyen said the talks touched on ways of enhancing local food production amid worldwide food shortages and affirmed that the EU will provide Egypt with more than $100 million to solve the issue. She expressed her keenness in bolstering uh, relations between Egypt and the EU in different fields in the coming stage. Also on Wednesday, President Abdel Fattah Sisi met with the United Arab Emirates uh, Armed Forces Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Hamad Mohammed Thani al rufmaithi During the meeting, President Sisi extended the greetings to UAE President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, praising the deeply rooted relationship that binds the two countries and reiterating that such ties are a cornerstone for stability in the Middle East and the Arab world. For his part, the visiting Emirati official asserted a keen interest in boosting bilateral strategic cooperation, notably in the military and security fields. The meeting emphasized on the need to continue joint coordination between Egypt and the UAE over regional and international issues in a way that serves interests of both countries and their people and boosting pan-Arab solidarity. The meeting was attended by the Minister of Defense and Military Production, Lieutenant General Mohammed Zeki, as well as the UAE's ambassador to Cairo, Maryam al qabi Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli held a press conference following the weekly cabinet meeting on Wednesday, which focused on the status of the economy and preparations for Eid al-Adha. Madbouli said the meeting tackled several economic files, including food security, which he asserted is one of the state's top priorities. The Prime Minister reiterated that the stake seeks easing the burden on citizens amid an ongoing world economic crisis, as President Abdel Fattah Sisi directed to postpone the hike in prices of some products for six months. He further noted that the state has not increased the price of diesel like many other countries, despite an increase in prices globally. The Premier also expressed his keenness on increasing local production of wheat during the next period. Under the auspices of President Abdel Fattah Sisi, the 8th edition of the Global Conference of Young Parliamentarians kicked off in the Red Sea Resort of Sharm el-Sheikh on Wednesday. In his speech before the attendees, Parliament Speaker Hanafi Gibeli welcomed the participants and stressed the significance of the conference in enhancing skills of future politicians. Gibeli reiterated that young people have to be involved in facing current world challenges and crises. He asserted President Assisi's keenness on supporting the youth empowerment in all domains within the framework of Egypt's national vision. The conference aims at consolidating the cooperation and parliamentary rela relations among the participating countries in the next period. Somalia's President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed.